Hey guys and welcome back to new video on this channel. I'm Sabi Franco Revolution. So big update today for AIMatic as I bring assistance support to the plugin. So what are assistance? These are basically similar to ChatGPT's custom GPTs. So you might have heard that you can create custom GPTs on ChatGPT and a similar feature is now available also in AIMatic in the AI Assistant. So you can update the plugin to the latest version and go to the AI Assistant menu. If you haven't uh, grabbed AIMatic, it is linked in this video description and it is also discounted during this short period. So you can manage your assistance in this menu. Here is a short tutorial or so this video is shown here. We can manage assistance and if you haven't uh, created any assistance yet, this will be empty. And if you want to create a new assistant, simply click on an add new assistant button from here and you can give the assistant a name, a model from where you can select here a model which will be used by the assistant to process the requests. You can add a short description to the assistant and this is very important, the assistant context prompt where you can tell the assistant details about how it should act, what is uh, its name for example, what is its purpose and many more context prompts can be added here. The first message is not yet supported by OpenAI Assistance API because this is disabled, but this will be enabled in upcoming updates. Also, you can use code interpreter and retrieval. The code interpreter is uh, used to run and return code to users and the retrieval is used to get info from the files that you upload from here. So because you will be able to upload also files for the assistance to learn from these files and even return content to the users from these files. So to use the retrieval feature, you will need to use the latest models starting from 1106 version of GPT Turbo or GPT-4, so GPT 3.5 Turbo or GPT-4, 1106 or newer versions and this will be enabled. Also, if you want to upload files, you can go to the Manage Assistant Files menu, choose a file from your computer with this button and click Upload to OpenAI and the file will appear here as Processed like this in this list. Afterwards, you can go back and uh, select the file from this assistant files list like this. If you want to select multiple files, hold down the control button on your keyboard. Also, you can add assistant functions, but this is an advanced feature. It will allow you to call your custom functions which you write in your code, but this is only for advanced users. I don't want to go into this. And you can set also an avatar for the assistant. We can set a nice little avatar. Let me move myself out of the way for a bit. And we can set an avatar for the assistant. And uh, let's give him a name. AI, let's say meteorologist. And uh, the context prompt, you are a meteorologist, which um, is a very, which who likes its job very much, be polite and uh, engaging with visitors. Okay, so this is just an example and this is the context prompt I have uh, right now in my head and afterwards we can click save. So this will actually save the assistant also on OpenAI's part because this will work, this feature will work only on with OpenAI at the moment and we can click the check on OpenAI and Jake 
will appear also here. So if we delete Jake or if we edit Jake, the changes will be reflected also here. So if we click edit here, Jake and uh, the meteorologist and the model and also retrieval and functions will appear here. And if we edit Jake, we can disable retrieval, for example, and um, click save. And in this case, if we refresh OpenAI platform here, we will see that retrieval is disabled. Also, there are some settings that are only on uh, in the AI AImatic plugins part. So the settings which are only here are the avatar. The avatar is not saved also on OpenAI's part and uh, yeah the rest of the settings if i'm correct yeah the first message yes this is also not saved at the moment on open ai's part because this is not supported by them okay so now we created our first assistant let me show you also how to backup and restore assistance you can import assistant from a file backup assistance to file and import default assistance so let me delete jake from here and let me import the default assistance that come bundled with the plugin so let's hit import default assistance and this will process for a while as it is importing the two default assistants i added yet only two default assistants one for the chatbot and one for the content creation so default assistants loaded successfully and here they are keon and ava and uh, this is the chatbot assistant and this is the copywriter assistant i recommend that you uh, use keon for creating content from the bulk a post creator if you want and eva eva should be used only for the chatbot as if you don't specify in the ai assistant prompt that you don't want the assistant to act as uh, an ai assistant then it will write uh, answers in the post that you create with it that sure i will be able to create this post for you and uh, text like that but you don't want this to happen you only want the text of the post that you want in the created post with the plugin because of this i recommend that you use keon or edit keon's prompt for your needs okay so we imported the default assistance if you refresh here on assistant in open ai we can see keon and ava appeared and also their settings are here everything works fine okay now uh, we can manage files if you want but this is not uh, needed in this video we only go for example now to the chatbot and first of all let's uh, set up the chatbot to use Ava. So in the API parameters tab, we will see chatbot assistant name. So we can select a chatbot model or a chatbot assistant name. So we have selected don't use assistant, use AI models instead. And if we click it, we will see Ava listed. And if we click save, we will see that Ava is selected and her description name is appearing in our chatbot. Also, the personas and persona managers are disabled because this feature is available only if you use the chatbot models feature. So this will not work with assistants as actually assistants are a sort of personas for the plugin. But OK, we switched Ava on and we can ask her hi who are you and let's see if ava will know to respond so i also added a short text to speech here but uh, let me this will be in on another video so i will cover this in another video this will be the response of Ava. Hey, I'm Ava, an AI chatbot companion. Inform I provide information. How can I help you today? So let me actually disable this text-to-speech feature as we don't need this right now for this video. 
and uh, let me ask Ava again hi who are you and this time Ava will respond faster and uh, here it is your friendly chatbot companion okay so this will use the assistance feature and if we go to limits and statistics actually we can use in the we can check in the usage logs that uh, we have here a uh, assistant id used and also text to speech but this is in covered in another video and also the assistant id tab will a column will appear and it will use the id from openai of the assistant that we use so if we search for this we will see that it's ava on openai's part okay so yeah we can manage the assistance here if we want to create some content we can go to bulk po ai post creator and uh, in the settings part instead of the models we can so you can see that you have all these models here instead of selecting the models we can go up here and you will see ai assistant name and you can select for example keon and in this case all models will be disabled you cannot select any more models for the AI post creator but instead Keon will be used which is great because Keon is already trained to be a expert copywriter and uh, basically you will not need any more information to pass to Keon only ask it to write a title write an introduction and so on so this will actually use Keon the AI assistant name will use Keon for this feature and uh, the great thing is that I added AI assistant support for the entire plugin so everywhere where you were able to select um, AI models now you are able to select also AI assistant so in the single AI post creator you will see that you will be able to use key on here to select to be selected instead of models in the express mode here in the model settings part you will be able to select key on and instead of models also in the other bulk creator parts amazon product roundup you will be able to select key on instead of models in the content editor this will be also available in the editing templates and options if you want to automatically edit posts you can do it with key on in the chatbot i already showed you in the short codes and forms key on and ava will be supported so instead of model you can set up key on or ava to be used in the limits and statistics you will see that keon and eva will be listed in the assistant id tab so if you don't use an assistant but if you use plain models the assistant id will be empty like here okay so this is a major update for aimatic ai assistant support is here you can create your custom assistants like the like you create custom gpts on chat gpt and use it in the entire plugin so this is the great part about it <laughs> that you will be able to use it in the entire plugin so this will be also available in the ai content shortcodes in the content wizard so you can see that this is everywhere added and everywhere it will be possible to be used okay so yeah this is all for this update i hope you enjoyed this new feature of aimatic if you have suggestions questions let me know in the comments of this video go to the ai assistance menu of aimatic and create your own assistance play with this new feature give it a try you can import your assistance from openai create new assistance backup restore and delete selected assistance also if you hit test you yeah so i did not cover this part so if you hit test 
you will be able to test your assistant on OpenAI's part directly. You will be able to sync the assistant if you do any modifications here. So for example, key on uh, black and we save the assistant name here. We can hit sync and key on black will be updated. So if you do changes on OpenAI's part, you will be able to sync it and to import the changes also to WordPress. Also, you can duplicate the AI assistant, edit it. So you can make the changes here also, and you can also delete it. Yeah, so I think I covered everything that this new update brings to the plugin. It was a huge amount of work to add everything, in, especially that there were many parts of the plugin that needed to be modified. But yeah, it's done. Go ahead, guys, and test it and let me know if you have any issues with it. Okay, so yeah, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed these videos. AIMATIC linked in this video description. Like, share, subscribe. It's really, really appreciated. And if you have ideas, comments, let me know in the comment section of this video. This is all for today. Bye-bye.